In this video, I wanted to do something that is a little bit different from what I would normally do, uh, like a super prepared tutorial, and just kind of give you um, some insight into the way that I'm using mind mapping tools uh, just by creating a mind map. I'm sitting here in uh, South Florida in my backyard. It is, I don't know, the temperature is now in the uh, mid 50s. It's a pleasant night. I'm sitting on the back patio and uh, you may be able to hear some traffic in the background, things like that. But let's go ahead and as much as possible, I'm going to to just explain what I'm doing and I'll, I'll try to think out loud. So this is this is really unrehearsed. What my need is, what I'm what I'm after tonight is just trying to wrap my head around what I am responsible for on a weekly basis in the variety of websites that I host. Um, I've got things up and running. It's everything seems to be going pretty well, but I, I now have to get kind of a rhythm into my life of uh, getting posts and things like that up. So I'm going to hit Command Space on my keyboard, and that brings up Alfred. Alfred is an application launcher that you can download and use on your computer. And I'm going to go ahead and use Simple Mind S I M. You saw it came up just with the first letter S. All I have to do is hit return, and that's going to launch Simple Mind. Now, if you were um, at the meeting on, uh, what was it, January 11th, I think, we talked a little bit about this particular mind map. This is my Accularian business model. And let's see if I can, there we go. I'm trying to figure out how to use all the software at this point. There I go. There's a smooth way to zoom it in. But this is my Accularian marketing. And all of these things surrounding the Accularian marketing are what I need to be responsible for uh, on, on the Accularian site. And there's a bunch of stuff there. But what I need to do is kind of get the, I don't know, kind of the 30,000 foot view of my business. So what I'm going to do is create a new mind map. That would be command N. And the, simp the central theme, I'm not even sure if I know what the central theme of this thing is. And that's why I'm kind of agonizing over it a little bit. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just go to the tool that I know how to use, or I'm starting to learn how to use, which is a mind map. And what I'm trying to do is kind of think about the responsibilities for all my websites. I guess that's the overarching theme. So the first thing is, what are they? What websites do I have? Let's see. I've got Accularian. And I've got Freedom for the Family. I don't want to have to keep click, moving over here and clicking the plus sign. So let me go find the shortcut for that. And add child topic, command, return. So freedom for the family. That's another website. What else do I have? I've got... Um, Look at my Mac.com. Oops, not that. Command Z undoes it. Need to be on that one to have the child topic show up. You know, I have uh, a private site that I have that I'm working on that I'm not releasing yet. So I guess these would be 
kind of the things that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. I also have um, this is a this is a website that is just an affiliate site. The only thing there is ads, but it's kind of a um, related to everything else I'm doing. So let me pause here and give just a little bit more thought to some of these other sites. See, that's why I don't have this all in one place, so I can't really think about it straight. Let me pause our video, um, and I'll join you after I crank my brain here a little bit. All right, so it turns out that this is pretty much the domains that I've ha I have right now that I am got active with, and they're live. So let me start thinking now about uh, what I have to do with Acularian. Let's just pull that one out and talk about it. I've got to do posting. Um, what else do I have to do? I have to do uh, advertising. Um... Kind of stats, I guess, is what I'm responsible for. Um, marketing. Social media. Um... I guess another thing that happens here is um, just overall management, business management. And that, that just kind of comes with the territory. I just kind of do that one naturally. You know, as the day goes on, I just kind of do that. Obviously, if you guys have any ideas of things that ought to be going on here, uh, let me know. I would be grateful for that. So that's Acularian, and it's funny, um, a lot of these same topics will obviously apply to all the other ones. And Freedom for the Family, let me uh, come and just make sure you see it that's separate there. Um, I'll give this some more thought and see if there's anything else that goes in here. MacintoshLessons.com, this is kind of an interesting one because it's just AdSense ads. But what I need to do is on this one is site maintenance. That's real important because you got to check the site. And there is some marketing that has to be done uh, for that. Um, in the sense of uh, making sure that it's getting AdWords because everything that happens here is AdSense, the, the business is driven just by ads on the site. So just maintaining the site, making sure it's running smoothly, and marketing uh, the site in terms of making sure articles are current or any of the links are current, they're not broken, products are still, you know, that you're advertising are good, seeing if there's any, any way you can mention it um, in forums somewhere or find someone who might want to promote it with you. I don't know. There's all sorts of things that could happen there. Um, let's see. These two here are promotional sites. MacHelpGlobal.com and LookAtMyMac.com are um, sites that I use for promoting my Macintosh consulting business. And that's basically just ads, AdSense ads and having keywords and all that in place. Oops, let's see.
I'm not really buying any marketing or advertising or anything like that on those sites. But they could use some promotion. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how to do that. But if I could get some people talking about that, it would be great. The... Um, The MacHelp Global site is a WordPress site, and it has uh, it has I can do posting on that. The look at my Mac.com site is just a straight up HTML site uh, with no posts or anything like that. It's uh, just lots of pages with information, but it's pretty much one big ad. So that's how I start building a mind map uh, and start thinking about all of these responsibilities that are associated with. Um, the overall operation of my business. Let's see if I can, I can't select all of these and bring them on in. I gotta do it one at a time here. Just to kind of make my, my, make my mind map a little more uh, appealing here. But just playing with this stuff kind of gives you a, um, uh, just the ability to let your mind flow a little bit and you start seeing things and patterns and um, you get ideas. Like I've already, just in thinking about all this, I've got some ideas for Acularian that need to be added to this that aren't currently on it. So, kind of fun just moving these things around. All right, so that's where I'm, I'm headed. And uh, when I get the final one done, I'll show you what it is. So here's where I've kind of uh, finished my thinking. <laughs> finished. Um, on Acularian, I added uh, a, a posting schedule to the posting. And from the business management, I considered, uh, yeah, I've got to start uh, on a consistent basis having weekly reports and making sure that uh, just on a consistent basis, I'm, I'm doing commission checks. No one has earned a commission yet. Um, if you promote that product, you may not be aware you can earn a commission on it. Um, so those checks get should be getting cut once a week. Um, I've got to look at my stats, my weekly stats, and see what's uh, going on in a week and start tracking that, kind of to see my progress. Oh, I just thought of another one as I'm, I'm, I'm uh, sitting here. I've got to, what? Do goals. We have not sat down and done our goals for the year for that. That's a big one. Um, I also added here, uh, I knew I needed social media, but I got to have a plan for that and consider uh, what I'm doing. Also, I got to do lessons on some sort of schedule. So I added that. Now for freedom of the fam freedom for the family, um, I, uh, you know, I said, yeah, I've got to stay on top of the monthly meetup. And then I've got to do some marketing. I'm coming up with some ideas from some of the podcasts I've been listening to on uh, some ways to market this little group. And honestly, I think eventually this little project will become far bigger than this because there's just a wider audience for it. Um, it'll all be part of the same thing that I'm doing and all kinds of interrelate. Um, but eventually, you know, we'll drive this into a money-making venture for those who are willing to participate at a certain level with me and uh, we'll start making some money with freedom for the family as well doing a podcast or um, something so that is kind of where I'm at I just focused on those two things uh, for the time being and you know this is one of these these things or just has to percolate in your brain and ha having it in this format is certainly helps so I hope this was helpful just kind of to see where this started from scratch and how it all kind of evolved. Thanks for watching.